what was really critical to, to me and Jess was, I want to see the people. We don't want to disguise the, the body. We don't want to, we want to put the face forward. We want to see the body. But we wanted also the theatricality of the kind of period appropriate silhouette. So the skirts, so basically what we did was for the women in particular, we kind of designed your t-shirts, because these are basically t-shirts, and your skirts around you and your bodies and what we saw, what we thought would look good on you. Yay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and um, also to help a little bit with age, de you know, delineation. Thanks. With age delineation, there's a little more gathers with the pe women who are playing the older women. There's a little simpler line for the women who are playing the younger women. And basically, these are made out of a linen, right? Is that correct? So this is, these are all made out of that. You're all the same color, okay? But your silhouette is different. So the individuality will be in the detail that is um, with both your skirt and your shirt, because your shirt will have some form of detail that is mirrors in the skirts. So you'll have this period modern fusion of having basically a knit shirt, very similar to what Laura's wearing. Of like that kind of weight. Yes. Yeah. She's wearing her costume. I know. I know. That was the first time. I know. We were, we would be like, this is no. This looks more like Tracy. No, this looks like Louise. It was fantastic. It was really fun to do it this way. So yeah, look at Laura's wearing her, her shirt. Um, so can you find that in white for me? <laughs> so and then the men, it's it's very it's more it's a little more difficult to make you more individual because men's clothing just doesn't work that way but in a way that makes it simpler you actually all have a kind of uniform in your suit which is you have the pants you have a, not all the time but for the most part let's just say for the sake of argument you have pants a vest a shirt and a jacket okay now obviously when you're playing a younger man you're not wearing a vest you're not wearing a jacket. You're wearing your pants and your shirt. When you're playing a father, the vest helps. The jacket helps. You know, it's all that line is is different. So so this is also a kind. This is also linen. So you all basically have a three-piece suit for all of you. But all of your details will be in the tailoring for specifically for you, and also which pieces you wear when. If you wear them, sometimes you don't. Right. Part of your conversation. Right. And then we have Joey. And then Joey. It was dream has come true, and he has a fantastic bespoke suit. Oh. So we'll see how bespoke it's going to be. Okay, where where his again? It's as if we could see, if we could see the 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 pattern of or the texture of your clothes up close, it would be Joey. So it's kind of the beautiful thing of what rehearsal clothes look like, or what your muslins look like. And sometimes you put on your muslin and you're like, I am fantastic. And then the thing comes and you're like, now I look like I'm in a costume. You know, why couldn't it look like my muslin? So the idea then is to, for us to see you, for nothing to get in the way of framing you and for you to be comfortable. And there to be that little contemporary edge with basically that t-shirt like material of the top. And then also the haunted feeling of the only thing that's like we we sense the difference in the silhouette, but we really see your face. And then something happens. You want you talk about what happens. 